Hi everyone, welcome to class today. As always, we're gonna start with our student creed. Get together, hands by your side. I'm a dedicated martial artist. Student creed begins. Yeah, I must develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that could reduce my mental growth or physical health. Number two. Yeah, I must develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. Number three, Ia, I must use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. Number four, Ia, winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a winner. Number five, Ia, this is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are on a quest to be our best. Asa, ready. Set courtesy. So, Black Belt Lifestyle Lesson is nutrition. In the video one, we talked about having good and healthy foods versus unhealthy or junk food and having a balance of both. So, for this video, I'm going to challenge you for the rest of the week. I want you to think of more healthy foods that you can have and bring those into your diet. And then I want to hear about it. Um, you can write it, have an adult write it in the comments on Facebook, or you can tell a sensei if you're going in person. Tell them what kind of healthy healthy foods did you eat um, this week and how did they help fuel your, bo your body? All right, so since the Black Belt Lifestyle Skill is Nutrition This Month, I give you a challenge to also help fuel and make your body stronger by doing five push-ups every video we do together or every day, whatever you want to challenge yourself with. Because at the end of this month is graduation. So some of you will be moving up into a new class. Either way, most of you will be moving up to a new belt rank. So it's important uh, that we're always working on our push-ups and getting stronger, all right? So let's do five push-ups together and make ourselves stronger. Down in push-up position and go. One, two, three, four, Stronger every day. So remember, this week we're working on our backup mass. Say that, say backup mass. And that's our second principle for getting power. Power is what we're working on this month and what you'll be earning your stripe for at the end of the month. It's going to be a blue stripe for Power of the Ocean. So you might have to pause the video um, for this power drill. I want you to pause the video and get an adult or just have an adult nearby and then come on back. You're also gonna have to have your adult bring some sort of soft cushion. So I have a seat cushion here. Um, you could bring a big stuffed animal. It could be a pillow, something that you're gonna be able to hit and not break and not break it yourself. All right, so now that you're back and you have your adult with you, what you're gonna do is practice your backup mass. So your adult, so adults, uh, this is what your job is. You're gonna hold the object that you have gotten um, out in front of you like this. Um, your hands are to the side. And what's gonna happen is your student is gonna throw a backhand punch, just like from Action Karate Form 4. So it's gonna be that vertical punch. And their goal is to punch through and not just touch the pad. So that's why I'm not having you guys hold it like this. Uh, normally, that's what we would do in class. But since we're at home and we are doing things a little differently, I want you to hold it to the side of you and make sure there's like a space. So then your student could punch um, the pillow and, and see it move. The other option you could do, um, adults, is you can hold it like this and they can punch it and see it move there. Um, that way you don't get injured because obviously our biggest thing is preventing injury and making sure everyone is safe. So those are your two options to hold. Now students, again, you're doing that reverse punch like we have in Action Karate Form 4. So instead of uh, just tapping, you saw this in the video in the beginning of the week, how I did it on my punching bag. Instead of just tapping, right, that's tapping, you wanna punch through. You wanna really see the object that you're hitting move, all right? Because if that was a person, 
someone who was trying to attack you, you would be punching through and having them move back instead of just tapping. All right, so I'm gonna throw some music on. Um, just practice that a couple times. Um, adults, you can have it up, bring it down, put it back up for your student. You can move around the room, have it do them in different spots, but you'll have about a minute and a half to mess around and practice uh, having that backup mass. All right, so we're going into the sparring portion. So make sure you get your full gear on. Again, I'm not gonna be wearing my full gear because I want you to be able to hear me um, when I'm doing the instructions for you. So if you have to, pause the video, get your full gear on, and then come on back. So we're gonna have a similar setup to the last video if you did that this week, except we're gonna be doing different things in the drill. Um, again, they're all gonna build up on each other, so that way we have a really solid foundation for our sparring um, and we can work to get better and better every time. So you're gonna need um, a bit of space. If you don't have the space, that's fine. Work with what the space that you have. So if I say something like run, um, you can run in place, you can run in the small space. If I say, you know, do jumps forward, you can do just two jumps, small jumps forward, two small jumps back. Move however you need to move uh, safely in the space that you have. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is last time we ran forward, this time we're doing not necessarily a run, you're not trying to go as fast as you can because again, we don't wanna hurt ourselves or, or, or um, damage the space we're in, but you're gonna do kind of like a little sprint back and then turn, sprint back and keep going back and forth. So what I want you to do before I let you off on your own and we keep doing this uh, to music, Get in your space, and I want you to do this very slowly. See about how many times you have to pick your feet up before you get to the edge of your space that you're in. So that way, you have a little bit more of an understanding um, of how much space you have before you add that speed in. If you have to pause the video, do that a couple of times, and then when you're ready to come back and do the drill, uh, go ahead and do so. So let's get after it. Keep those hands up, go. Living for tomorrow, lost within a dream. Trying to find the answer to the question, and it seems a love makes the world feel good. Singing in the moonlight. You've got this, keep going. We're working that footwork, getting our feet Let ready to shine through to lift your spirit Sorry. once again. Cause love makes the world feel good. All right, so last time we did our guard stance and we did sliding. This time we're going to do some sliding with our fighting stance. So get into your fighting stance, which means your hips are facing the opponent or the video. Your toes are also doing that, hands are up. Now when we slide, instead of sliding forward and back, we're gonna slide side to side. To slide side to side, you're gonna move the foot of the direction you're going first. So if we're going to the right, this is my right, I'm gonna move my right foot and then my left foot. Right foot, left foot. 
If I'm going to the left, I move my left and my right. My left and my right. So that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna start at the edge of your space, all right? You're gonna slide one way, slide, slide, slide. Then you're gonna slide the other way, slide, slide, slide. Or however many slides you fit in in your space. All right, so I'm gonna start the music and we'll go. go. For this drill, you're gonna need three objects. Um, so I'm gonna use my extra gloves as my objects. And you're gonna place them down in your space that you have. So I have one there. I have one here so that I can fit in between the two. And then I'm gonna throw another one on the end that you might not be able to see, but it's my other sparring glove. All right, so if you have to, pause the video and come back and set it up. Um, and then once you're back, check it out, I'll show you what we're doing. Um, you're jumping over your objects. I'm gonna start here so you can see me. You're gonna jump over your objects. When you do so, your goal is to bring your knees up high and keep your guard up. So that means keeping your hands up. All right, this is a really good practice because a lot of times when we do other things, we drop our hands like this. So this drill is forcing us to not only work on our ability to jump and our footwork there, but keeping our hands up. So when you do it, you're gonna jump and your hands stay up. Then you do the next one, jump, hands stay up, run back to the beginning and then do it again. And if you don't have a lot of space, you can just use one object and jump back and forth on that one object. So let's get going. Nice job. All right, last sparring drill before we add in our hand um, movements again. We're gonna be doing frog jumps. So these are similar to when we're in our duck stance in the video, if you did the video last, um, the other one this week. Our goal is we're gonna use our whole body and we wanna go far with our frog jump. So you might only be able to get one in and that's okay. Um, and I'll just say, humility is important. Um, jumping in the areas like this are definitely areas that I'm not the strongest at. Uh, they're areas that I can improve upon. So I'm gonna use this time to try to get stronger. Um, and I recommend you do too. Even if you're already awesome at them, you can get even better. So your goal is to jump as far uh, with your frog jump. So when you go to jump, like that. All right, and I, if you notice, I brought my hands up a bit when I was in the air. So if you can do that, great. Um, but also, I don't want you to fall on your face. So do what you have to to get those frog jumps in. 
Um, we'll do it for about a minute and then we will get to the sparring portion. Let's get after it. Get those frog jumps in. And do it at your own pace. You don't have to stay with me. Right? If you can be faster than me, fantastic. So for our sparring job, I'm going to show you what I want and then I'll give you an opportunity to do it. So we'll, we'll do it together. So we're going to be kind of making a box. All right. So you're going to start, start at what could be the corner of your box. Um, and you're going to do the combo. Now remember the combo, do this with me so we can all remember together is front hand. We're in our fighting stance. Front hand's going to do double jab. Back hand's going to uppercut. And the uppercut is like doing a bicep curl, but it comes up like this. All right. Then the shuffle that we did, we're going to do shuffle, shuffle. We're going to do one hop back. All right. So we start in one corner, shuffle to the other corner, hop to one corner. Then you're going to do jab, jab, upper, shuffle the other way to this corner, and then hop. So to make our square, we do combo, shuffle, hop, combo, shuffle, hop. All right? And if you have a lot of space, you can add a bunch of shuffles in between. If you don't have a lot of space, just do one shuffle. Make it a small shuffle and have a really tiny box. All right? So I'm going to throw some music on, and we'll do it together for about a minute. This feels like forever. All right. Only just begun. Go. Love makes the world feel good. So we're going to practice our form now. I'm going to go through it once really quickly, and then I'm going to give you a drill to work on with your backup mask. In video one this week, I did break down this form into detail about where you can add certain areas of backup mask. So if you missed that, I definitely recommend going and checking that out, but you don't necessarily have need to watch that video to do what we're about to do. All right, so get into your stance or your ready position, and let's go. Action karate, form four, man. Guard stance. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Feet come up, chop. Side kick, drop, side kick, horse stand, go, up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down, set, victory, humility, courtesy, man, nice job. So I'm going to give two options so that way everyone who has all sorts of space and ability and time 
should be able to do the stroke. Um, so if you have the time and ability, pause this video and go get an adult and ask him if they can help you. Ask them if they can help you. Um, when they come back, this is what you're gonna do. Oh, I should also tell you, before you pause the video, uh, make sure you get something soft. So again, it could be a seat cushion, it could be a pillow, it could be a big stuffed animal, anything that um, your adult can hold. So adults, now that you're here with us, you have a couple options here, whatever you feel comfortable and safe with. And students, whatever your adult says, you gotta listen to, all right? You have to show respect. So we're working on backup mass. So I want the students to understand that they're not just touching the target, they're touching and pushing, all right? So students, what your adult's gonna do is they're gonna hold the pad and they're gonna hold it out like this. All right, you can tell them where the pad needs to go because they don't know your form like you do. All right, so for example, if I had an adult, I'd ask them to hold it. Ideally, they would be here and they'd hold it like this. But since I don't have an adult here, I'll hold it for myself like that. So for the first move back to ready form one, I'd be able to hit like this. And then I would tell the adult to move here and hold the pad out here so that I could do my vertical punch. All right, so on and so forth. You're gonna go through the whole form. So you, what the, your goal is to really rock whatever it is that you're punching, not just tap it lightly. Again, though, we always wanna have control. Safety is the most important thing. So by no means are you going all out and punching wildly and crazy, all right? You just wanna show that you can go through and make it move. You're not trying to hurt anybody or hurt yourself, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys probably closer to two minutes, um, maybe even a little more for this. So that way you have time to practice, move around, do the moves a couple times, get used to feeling hitting something um, and what that's like to not just tap it, but to go through it a little bit there. Um, and if you don't have an adult that is able to be around, you can do what I did and grab your own pillow and kind of move however you need to to kind of go through like that. Um, or if that's not working for you, just practice the form in the air and visualize going through a target. All right, so those are your three options. I'll throw on some music, get to practicing. So watch me bring the fire, set the night light. Shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Kink out, kick the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. Sing song when I'm walking home, jump up to the top of the brown. Ding dong, call me on my phone, nice tea, and I'll get my ping pong. self-defense this week we're gonna go through them quickly um, just a review if you want it broken down again that was the first video this week so certainly you can go back and watch that one if you haven't 
um, or you don't have to because um, I'm going to show you the moves real quickly again here now. But I want you to, after you do it with me, pause the video, get your adult, um, and you have a few options here. You're going to either A, have that cushion again, um, and your adult can hold it, and you can do the moves on the cushion, um, or if it was a pillow or a big stuffed animal, whatever. So you can feel doing the moves um, towards and on an object to go through it. If your um, adult is comfortable, they can actually do the self-defense. They can actually put your hand behind your back or whatever and do the self-defense on you. If Either way, if you're doing those two options, we want to show our adult or whoever's helping us respect, right? We always respect our partners who are helping us train. So we're not going to put our full power into anything. You're just going to lightly place your elbow and then kind of do a little push so you can feel that it would have gone where it needed to. All right. So again, you're by no means doing full power on anybody ever, unless it is someone who's attacking you and trying to hurt you. All right. Um, but those are two, uh, those are two options. Another option is just having your adult watch. You can explain to them kind of where the backup mass is or how you're getting power. Um, or if you don't have an adult available, you can either hold a, a cushion or a pillow yourself and hit it, or just take some time to really visualize and practice doing um, the self-defense. All right, either way, you're gonna have about two minutes of music to get that practice in. So our Passing the Horizon self-defense, just a quick review. Do this with me, hands up. I don't want any trouble, hand behind your back, and go. Elbow, elbow, big step and twist. Punch, punch, kick, one step, two step, aya. And time. Nice job. All right, and our two hand choke with the pluck self defense. Do this with me. We're gonna review it together real quickly one time. Hands up. I don't want any trouble. Someone's choking you. Pluck, in step kick, front kick, one step, two step. Yeah, and time. Nice job. My friends keep telling me to leave this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night to get this. We've had a million, million nights just like this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. You can do it with me if you would like, um, but your goal is to visualize really hitting through your target every single time. 
All right. Feet getting into my side. Blood cup. Guard stance. Go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yeah. And back. One more time together. Really visualize again that backup mass. All right. We're not just putting the stick in the places, we're hitting through something. All right. On your own after I say go. Blood cup. Go. Yeah. 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 And time. We will end class as always with our principles of being a black belt. Feet together, hands by your side. I'm a dedicated student of the martial arts. And I live by the principles of being a black belt. And they are integrity, concentration, perseverance, respect and obedience, self-control, humility, indomitable spirit, knowledge, power, black belt, courtesy. And you're out of here. Nice job with class today.